Okay, so welcome back to refocus round two. Um, so as I said uh, in my video just then, I have not been working my sleeve. And a couple of things that they say are kind of the rules of the road around um, having effective weight loss with weight loss surgery. One is protein first, two is drink your water, and three is exercise. Um, if you'll remember, I think it's a couple of videos back, I'm not sure if I even talked about it. So I went to Argentina um, end of October for a friend's birthday and ate more red meat than a normal human being should, even with a teeny tummy tummy ate more red meat. And so when I came back, I was kind of grossed out by the whole concept of meat. And I decided to go vegetarian for a while. Well, crap. oh well, I need to look at my watch. Anyway, um, what I had conveniently forgotten was that, gosh, two years ago when I was on diet number bajillion and two, I went vegetarian then thinking, I don't know any fat veggie people and I love vegetables and I don't really miss meat. And so I've gone the last month without eating any meat. Um, now the problem with that is there's not a lot of protein in vegetables and you have to eat a lot of protein. You have to eat a lot, of, you can get your protein from vegetables, but it's a lot of tofu and beans and stuff like that. And a lot of prep and I am not good about prepping food and um, and I can eat, I eat obviously carbohydrates with that. And as any of you know who've got any sort of weight loss surgery, if you eat carbohydrates, well, if you've got gastric bypass and other stuff, you might dump. But with a vertical sleeve, they're considered slider foods and they go right through you. And that has fundamentally been my problem is actually me back up. So when I went veggie last time, I found that I was eating more because I just wasn't feeling satiated even close to satiated as I was with proteins and things like that. Um, and so I, ca I gained weight being a vegetarian, which I thought was random, but it made me crave more carbohydrates. And the same thing happened with this time is I went vegetarian. I thought, oh, here I am being all good and I'm eating my veggies. And, and it's not like I don't eat my veggies anyway, but I wasn't eating as much protein. And because I wasn't feeling satiated, I was eating more carbohydrates and I was getting more craving for carbohydrates. So I was eating more carbohydrates and I kind of grazed all day, which is kind of the rule of big no-no in our world. It's like eat your small meals all, the, all day, like every three hours, but don't graze all day. Plus in the new office that I work in, they have a freaking 7-Eleven practically. It has potato chips and goldfish crackers and granola bars and... Um, sugary candy and chocolate and I could go on for like 20 minutes about the crap they have back there. Um, and it's the crap that I would, I'm sorely tempted by and it's the crap that goes down really easily. And so I not only was eating crap in general, but then had, it's an enormous amount of crap food, really bad for me stuff available at work. And as I mentioned before, my work's been super stressful and I haven't been working this hard and I don't remember what, I'm having fun, but it's been a lot of work. And so I, I've been eating lots um, and lots and lots and lots. And so I've gained weight. It's a numbers in, numbers out game. So first of all, so my food's been bad. Uh, being veggie makes me crave more and I have. Um, so second of all, because I've been working so much and I really shouldn't blame work. The reality is, is I have not made the choice to drink as much water as I should. Um, before I was drinking one to two liters of water a day plus other beverages. So I was easily getting in two liters of fluids every day. Um, and I just stopped doing it because I lost a water bottle. It's actually at my sister's house. And by the way, when I come see you next, I'm gonna get it back because I don't know why I just prefer drinking out of the bottle. It's weird, what can I say? Um, anyway, I wasn't drinking enough water and um, the actual biochemical reaction of processing fat out of your body, a gram of fat requires, I think it's a tablespoon of water or something to actually flush, do the whole process. It needs it to make the reaction happen. So by not drinking water, you're actually stopping the process of fat loss happening. So issue number two, issue number three, I've been traveling like a mad person, like, uh, 
I just got back from an eight day stint where I went from San Francisco to New York, to LA, to Las Vegas, to Chicago, to New York, back to San Francisco. And there was one 48 hour period where I didn't actually even sleep in a bed. I was doing red eyes and all of that good sort of stuff. So not shockingly, um, I didn't work out that very much. Um, I haven't been running. I haven't been getting up and running in the morning the way I used to. Um, and I was, because I was eating crap and I was feeling tired, I was all burned out and cyclical, cyclical, cyclical. Um, I wasn't exercising as much. And yes, I actually ran the Las Vegas half marathon two weeks ago, but you know what? I stunk, or at least in my book, I stunk. Um, I still finished a half marathon, so I'm still physically fit, but I'm not doing the regular exercise, which gets the endorphins going and makes you feel better and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then I wasn't focusing. I wasn't weighing myself daily. I wasn't writing down what I was, well, I never really written down what I was eating, but I wasn't focusing on my goals. So I was doing all four things that you could do to kind of screw up your weight loss right here. So what did I do today? Because I was on plan today and I was focused. I actually got up this morning and I thought about it really hard last night. I was like, you know how to do this. You feel better when you do it. I laid all my clothes out. I got myself ready and I got up and I said, even if it's just for 10 minutes, even if you sleep in and it's just for 10 minutes, do something. Um, and I got up and I ran four miles, which is a little short for me, but at least I got up and did something and it's still four miles, which I'm pleased about. And then, um, my conversation with myself today all day has been drink your water um, or your tea, whatever it is you're drinking, uh, which I did all day, and protein first. And if you're still hungry, then you can eat something. And that was the other key part of it is are you hungry rather than do you have the munchies? And there were absolutely options in our 7-Eleven cafeteria in the back of our office. Like apparently there's cottage cheese back there. Who knew? Um, and there's string cheese. So I could eat the both of those. So I've eaten um, protein. I actually started my day with a shake to really um, to kick things off. And then I've been protein first. And I'm actually, because I now actually, I'm not hungry hungry, but I certainly have the munchies. I've just steamed some Brussels sprouts um, so I can have some vegetables as well. So I don't feel like Brussels sprouts is necessarily cheating. Um, and if I can still eat after that, then, well, this is going to be the tough time for me. It's tonight. Certainly having the water, certainly exercising. So those, sorry, I keep looking at my watch because I don't want to go long. Those are the focuses I'm going to be doing all week this week. Um, while it's the holiday season, I need to make the decision that getting to goal is that important to me. Getting to goal is that important to me that I'm not going to partake in any more cocktails, which has been the other really key part of my not failure, but not losing weight and certainly putting it back on. Um, because I really, I really don't want to go into 2011 thinking that I have failed again. I can't do that to myself. And I have, what is it, the 15th, I have 15 days, it's the 15th, 14th, whatever. I have like two weeks of the year left to make myself feel like I have accomplished something this year. And I know I have, but I don't want to be in this place mentally. So you will see me next Monday with a video with how much I have lost. And yes, it's going to be a shitload of water weight. And I'm okay with that because my clothes are still fitting. I know that this is just a water weight issue and um, continue on my goal. And I will continue to do this until I'm at the 125 pounds. And you know what? I may be boring as toast um, in a couple of videos, but I will be weighing in and telling you where I am and trying to focus and talking about all of the path that I'm going down. And I hope you will join me on the journey. And if you want to go, oh my God, crazy woman, no thanks. That's okay too. So um, best of luck on your own journey and know that it is a journey and there are going to be there will be challenges ahead and I expect there will be another round of challenges and I will have to refocus again in the future, but this is the commitment for now. So have a great one and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.